The Tecno Spark 9 Pro is a top of the line device in this lineup this year, with the other device being the Tecno Spark 9T. And with my G, of course, Fireboy being the ambassador to this lineup and this brand this year. With this device, you get USB C, a 32 megapixel front facing camera, an 18 watt charger, the smartphone itself, the warranty card, the SIM ejector, a 5000 mAh battery, and the G85 Helio processor, all for 99,800 Naira, roughly $160. Now, let's talk about the design on this guy here. The design here is really classy, boxy, and really admirable considering the fact that you have a dual tone thingy going on with the rear of this smartphone. Of course, it is made out of plastic as with other devices around this price point. And there are four color variations you get here, which include the Quantum Black, the Harker Storm, Burano Blue, and Holy White. Yeah, that's a thing. The volume rocker here can be found to the right side of the smartphone alongside the power button, which doubles as a fingerprint sensor. The bottom side gives you the 3.5 audio jack, a mouthpiece opening, a USB-C port, and a downfiring mono speaker. Now, to the left side of the smartphone, you get the dual SIM tray with a dedicated micro SD card slot, while the top side remains bland. Now, flipping over to the front side, we get the display here with a dewdrop notch thingy and design, something that's actually dated if you ask me. But this display on here is a 6.6 inch, LCD panel with a resolution of 1080p, actually full HD plus resolution, you know. And this smartphone here doesn't have a 90 hertz refresh rate. You get 60 hertz, which is kind of a bummer since you have other devices around this price point with 90 hertz refresh rates. That have been a plus for this device. As far as the specs and performance, you have the Helio G85 processor here with four gigs of RAM and this memory fusion feature from Techno, which gives the smartphone about an additional three gigs of RAM, making it seven gigs of RAM. Internal storage here is 128 gigs, which can be expandable using the micro SD card slot on this device. And as far as performance is concerned here, I would really say this is a solid device. And when it comes to gameplays, you have little to no jitters and stutters when considering games like um, PUBG. You can see the downside in terms of the GPU or the graphic performance here, but this is a solid performing device. And that's actually with the price in view. Now, this is the first techno device that has Android 12 out of the box and iOS 8.6. Of course, we have lots of bloat, whereas has been a complaint with iOS, but this is a solid and stable operating system or skin on top of Android, if you ask me. Speaking of the cameras here, you get three cameras at the rear, with the main sensor being a 48 megapixel sensor, and the front side here gives you a 32 megapixel sensor for your selfies. And both cameras on this device give you LED flashes for low light photos. Photos from the front facing camera are quite decent for what they are. You have decent dynamic range, but where things are turned up a notch is when you take photos using the rear cameras, you have better quality photos and details from the rear cameras. The color accuracy for the main camera at the rear is actually close to real life and something I, I think I, I love with this device, especially for the price you are paying. Now, videos can be recorded on this smartphone for the front and the rear cameras at 2K as a max resolution. And I actually do wish this smartphone could record at up to 4K, but 2K is what you get here for the max resolution and you do not have any form of image stabilization going on at that max resolution. So here's a front facing camera video test recording at um, 2K in terms of resolution. So let me know what you think about the video from the Techno Spark 9 Pro and also um, how the audio sounds. Let me know in the comment section below. You get a 5,000 milliamp hour battery as that's about the standard for devices around this price point and an 18 watt fast charger to juice this device from zero to 100 in about two hours thereabout for this device. Now, solid battery life and performance are what you get from the smartphone. Basically for 99,800 Naira, I think this is a solid performing device. You have good battery life, great processing on this device and actually nice and clean design. But my only gripe with the Techno Spark 9 Pro here would be I think the camera could have been a little better and also this display on here could have had 90 hertz refresh rate instead of the 60 hertz it had here that would have made this device an all-round solid device other than that that's about my review for the techno spark 9 pro here's another device you might want to check out